Salut Denzel et bienvenue dans cette leçon. Welcome to this midweek lesson. Well, of course, our lessons have actually intensified and we've seen quite a lot. Ranging, of course, from numbers right on to basic greetings, which was the first thing we saw in this textbook. So we are not quite done yet with numbers, as of course in the last lesson, we practiced how to pronounce and spell numbers from 1 to 10. That's the N A G S. And I'm sure you agree with me that it was quite an easy lesson, especially with the attention which you put on in that class. All right. So today we are moving, of course, straight to numbers still, but this time around counting from 11 right on to 20. But obviously we can't do that bef uh, without reviewing what was done before. So again, let's try to rephrase or redo what was done in the last class. Let's repeat the numbers together from 1 to 10. Repeat after me. 1, 2, again, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Excellent, bravo. That was exactly how we counted these numbers from 1 to 10. And I'm sure that again, right now, you find it so easy. Just don't forget. The easiest way to remember this and never forget is to do what? Is to always practice, like I always say. That said, let's move on to today's lesson. And now we we'll practice, of course, how to count from 11 right until 20. So 11 is ons, ons, dus, dus, tres, tres, quatorze. 14 15 15 17 17 18 18 19 19 and 20. 20. Very good. That's brilliant. So now that we already know, of course, how to count from 11 to 20, which I'm sure you still remember, we are now, of course, going to move on to looking at how these numbers are equally spelled, just like we did with numbers from 1 to 10. So before that, let's try to see you recite these numbers again from 11 right until 20. So go on. Ons, that's correct. Dus, that's correct. Tres, that's right. Quatorze, yes, quatorze. Take note. Kings. Yes, says. This set. This wheat. This nerve and vung. Perfect. Those are the numbers, of course, and as you can see, the emoji saying here, Je fini, to say we are done counting. But this time around, let's try to write them in words. Let's write these numbers, of course, in words. So how do we spell ons? You can clearly see ons here is spelled O N Z E. Ons. 
Doos is spelled G O U Z E. Doos. Brilliant. And Tres is spelled T R E I Z E. Tres. 14, which is Katos, is spelled Q U A T O R Z E. Katos. Wonderful. After that, we have 15. And remember, 15 is Kings. Exactly. Now, let's spell Kings. Q U I N Z E Kings Wonderful And now let's move on to 16 What is 16 in French? 16 is says it's true that it's not quite shown here because of the coloration but of course in our in our next lesson I'm going to spell it on the chart but meanwhile 16 is spelled, which it says, remember, it's spelled S E I Z E. Says. And after says, we have 17, which is this set, yes, two sounds, this and set. This set, and how do you spell this set? It is D. I X the hyphen which is a small line separating the gist and the set after the hyphen you have S E P T perfect and that is the set remember the hyphen is very necessary it's important always remember not to forget writing it all right, and of course, after this said, we have the next number, which is 18. And how do you pronounce 18 in French? It's simple. It is this wit, like we said earlier on. And how do you spell this wit? Simple. It's just this and wit. That's 10 and 8. So let's spell it together. D I X hyphen H U I T this wit brilliant and finally let's move on to this number which is the second to the last number and this number of course is for 19 how do we spell this nerve D I X hyphen N E U F this nerve Brilliant. And remember, of course, this nerve just like this fit. And just like this said, they all write the this, which is for 10, and you write their respective numbers. For this set, it is this and set. This fit, it is this and wit. This nerve, it is this and nerve. And finally, 20, which is vung. How do we spell vung? Again, that's simple. Let's spell it out together. Vung is spelled V I N G T Vung Brilliant And of course those are numbers from 1 to 20 Let's say from 11 to 20 in French And in our next lesson We are certainly going of course to do a wrap up of this With lots and lots of exercises To obviously cement this lesson And of course we're going to have a video Which we're going to watch In order for you to see exactly How that is pronounced in real life and you're going to obviously be learning that with teacher Panda. Panda, is, of course, is going to be your teacher on that video. So it's time to say au revoir. Catch you on Sunday for the live lesson. It's time to say à tout à l'heure. Au revoir. Bye-bye.